It's the mash time. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Over there. Was that soothing or spooky? I can't decide. Anyway. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content like outtakes, my wee rants, and my Vocal Anatomy 101 series. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, it's been a wee while, so we are gonna go back and listen to some more Dimash Kudai Bergen. This is Your Love, uh, Moscow 2020, which is not that far in the past for me. So let's go and listen and see what we think. I still remember us Were the times where we were warm When we were warm Do you recall Nothing was dangerous We had the strange to live our streams To feed our souls Oh! Gorgeous star. So we've got a lot of aspirate tone coming through here. That is where more air than normal would pass through the vocal folds. <sighs> Just think of breathing, really. <sighs> you pass more air through and you get a really airy sound. Aspirate. He's mixing that into this wee scoop of fry. So, uh, that fry is basically where your vocal folds go slack and there's no vibratory pattern per se. It's just the air escaping and that's why it sounds kind of bubbly. Uh, the air is just finding its own way out. The way that he is blending these together is seamless and it just gives this oh, really smoky, light, almost intangible feeling. Delicious, lovely. Now what is left of all this love? It's <laughs> the that I That is insane. He is going through such a range there. That is really, really difficult there. What can I do to find again? That is basically you going from your folds being so short and thick that they almost buckle, so you're almost getting into that fry sound, then into like a thick sound, but then thinning those vocal folds out and increasing in pitch the whole time. That's not easy at all. Wow. And he just does it like it's nothing. <sighs> Ridiculous. I promise I'm not going to pause as much as this, but he just keeps doing stuff. That is an aspirate tone with vibrato. Now, some people would say that is uh, falsetto, that is not falsetto because he is able to do vibrato. Falsetto is where your vocal folds are held stiff and air is passing through them. You cannot do vibrato on that. It's impossible. So he is making his head voice aspirate and then he is putting on that tilt on top of that. They sound very, very similar, but if you know how they're produced, and you hear another tone on top of that, then you can determine which one you're listening to. And that is head voice, not falsetto. Yeah. Where do you leave? What 
Wow, okay, so there's definitely a track involved here somewhere because his voice is harmonizing with itself. Do you still hear my voice? Sometimes you can get presets that you can click and it will just harmonize on top of what you're singing, but there's definitely, I think there's a track in here somewhere. So I'll get that out of the road so you can all bash me in the comments. On you go. But it doesn't matter, it's still his voice, so who cares? The way that he can jump from that mid place sound into that really high pingy sound is insane. It's a really, really quick jump and you have to have such fine vocal control, vocal control, and I can't even say it, let alone do it, um, to jump that abruptly without there being a, like a pulling sound. Phenomenal. What can I do to love Okay, there is something to learn from here. When he's doing that ah, like screechy kind of sound, I mean screechy in the most loving of ways, versus that oh kind of sound, the difference is he's still within the same kind of framework range-wise, but he's dropping his larynx on that more operatic sound and that darkens the sound. When he wants that really, really high-pitched stuff, he has quite a high larynx that gives that ping and that brightness to that sound. When he wants the operatic sound, he drops the larynx slightly and he gets that darker sound. He really knows how to play with the tone of his voice. I mean, obviously it's Dimash Kudai Bergen, for goodness sake. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is probably the longest I have sat and not paused the video. Because, I mean, where do you and why? You're just along for the ride at that point. <laughs> so, him modulating the key up about three times, maybe, I think that was. Just 
nuts. A little bit of whistle tone in there, um, that is like a separate register from your head voice. It's not an easy place to get to, um, you have to really kind of hold your folds closed and then push the air through and you get that squeak and then to actually get that pitched is very very difficult so to just jump into it on a like a little lick of a phrase is wild to me as per usual absolutely fantastic diction he knows where to open up these vowels he knows when to brighten his e sounds where to darken his r's he's just got everything going wow so i hope you liked that reaction if you did please give it a like and a thumbs up down below and if you want to see more from me hit subscribe ring the bell and anytime i have new content you will be the first to know so i guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and how are we going to buy this one i don't know so i guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and now i'll say goodbye but hit like and subscribe if you want more stuff like this. <laughs> very, very plain. Bye.